Ah, ya sirih stupid taro me lagi rin tuwi. Mabafo. Lagi rin tuwi. How's it coming in there? Fine. Do you want me or you just... My 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 fault my my fault for like uh blowing your ears off. <laughs> the animation, <laughs> yo, hey bro, nah, bro, this guy, who is this guy? My Kimo, my Kimo, nah, you got him. This animation, bro, the animation of him just for me, like. <laughs> How's it coming in there? Fine. Uh. You want me or your dad? Dad. <laughs> hey, son. Hey, dad. Hey. Oh. Oh, man. So, how are those feeling in the way? Oh, why she look? Oh. But she was ugly, so. But damn, bro, why you gotta make her look like that, bro? She's not. Like, she's just chilling, bro. <laughs> okay, some characters, even if they were chilling, they look like this. Oh, my goodness. Are they too tight? Because you don't want to get them if they're too tight. There you go. Bro, why is she built oh. like that? Oh man. So how are those feeling in the waist? Are they too tight? Cause you don't want. Bro, why did all me? Oh, she was pregnant. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This just made me realize, bro. Uh, the animation of what is this? Bucky, bro? It's so weird. It's like it's too much, man. Niggas got double chins. Niggas got muscles or muscles like fucking hell, man. Too tight. There you go. They're they're pretty short. Mommy, could you sip up my big boy pants? <laughs> 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 so, nah, it's fucked it up laughing because I already I know I, I watched the the, the the season or the episode, bro. This show I watched the show so it's not it because actually that 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 the, the character oh, fucking hell the character is actually disabled so it's not it. But now. Have you a little trouble walking? You boys are obviously very stupid. <laughs> wow! Take it. Take your shot. Take it. <laughs> I'm pissed off. <laughs> this doesn't uh this this this, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, bro. Wait, that's his feet. Wait, oh he, he can walk on his feet. Oh yeah, he can't walk on his I was about to say, how the hell he doing that? Ain't ain't he handicapped, but he can't walk on his feet, he can't stand on it. But this a wild frame, right? This a wild frame right here. Do I look like a skater? Yes. Yes, indeed. I think that, um, I think those jeans look really good. I think yeah. you should get them if you like them, okay? I'll mess you up, man. <laughs> Well, you'll have one shot. You better make it good. <laughs> what? What the fuck is this, bro? Store. Stephen Armstrong, politician, would later provide an eyewitness account of what happened next. Am I clear on all the details? Come on! You don't believe my words, damn it! Politicians only lie when they need votes, son. It's not even election season, so why would I lie to you? So... What was the question? Ah, oh, yeah, the gunshot. That bully kid pulled out a pistol and shot the man. That who looked like a high school teacher, but the guy who looked like his son jumped in between. Huh? Huh? Are you asking me the guy who got shot fell down? Huh? You really don't know anything about that crippled boy. That boy, he bit and shoot through a barrage of. What is this video, fellow? Bullets with his teeth. Can you believe it? 
He caught flying bullets with his bare teeth. Impossible! Even if handgun bullets are slow, they still travel at around 700 feet per second. I still don't give a fuck about those measurements or units, but impossible. The normal person would have been seriously injured if they were even brushed by a flying bullet. But the boy caught them with his teeth, and he started fight and chewed them into small pieces. What? Like a child breaking a sugar-coated candy with his teeth. Then he gathered the mashed up bullets into one solid piece. <laughs> wow! Just like making bullet candy. And the boy looked pretty angry. I guess it was because the bully said something taunting to his father. I'll mess you up, man. That one sentence. <laughs> but it was enough to make the boy angry. You can't mess with my dad. And the boy bent the bully's gun holding arm. In a sudden situation. Ooh, hey, she all oh, no, bro. The bully tried to pull his arm back. It just wouldn't budge. The boy put a candy of compressed bullets in the bully's mouth and started to beat him like a dog. Untamed power. Pure violence. A primitive and beautiful struggle. Dominated by an individual with no Bro, you glazing without a primitive struggle. A predominantly immaculate man. Bro, get that dick, get that dick out of your mouth, man. Well, hey. Even with a pistol made using modern ammunition technology, it couldn't subdue mankind's primal weapon, the fist, which has a history of over three million years. Oh, my bad. Okay, that's 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 literally what they be doing in the back here. <laughs> it's over explaining everything. It's a specimen. Well, on that day, he didn't realize he was fighting the primitive, the ultimate man. Bro, bro, I didn't realize they be D-riding crazy, bro. In that moment, I saw in him the great warriors of America. The boy landed a strong punch right on the boot's jaw. He sprawled on the ground, and the boy looked at him and said this. You know what? My dad is my hero. That boy <laughs> standing there was the true American. I had been dreaming of. Oh, bro, get it the heck, get his dick out your mouth, man. Bro, I'm gonna see on this video, man. <laughs> Yo, that was a nice video, though. I don't even know I can say that. Bro, sub to the channel, like the video, I'm gonna see you in this video. Call me Mexican, cause I'm a flippy bass.